I'm always revved up, I'm never turning down I smoke a blunt to the face to calm my nerves down I'm reaching up, got my head right above the clouds I can feel the calm before the storm, there is no tapping now I'm always revved up, I'm never What up, Rev Gang? Welcome to the first episode of Rev Gang High Talks with T-Rev, man we're going to jump into this first episode. Shit is getting spicy in the underground out here. But first and foremost, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe, that comment bell. Light your blunt up. Get high. Do all that good shit, man. Make sure you come by the channel. Let me know what y'all want to see. You know what I'm saying? Hold up. This is side talk. We got to get high. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to jump into these side talks. <coughs> We're going to get our mind right, and we're going to jump into the conversation of what's going on right now. You know what I'm saying? So, let's jump into it. Right now, the underground's been going crazy, right? You got the Eminem beef with Nick Cannon. He dissed him on the Fat Joe song. Uh, Nick Cannon responded back with four or five other dudes on the track, right? There's some good-ass shit right here. That ain't even going to hold you. But, yeah, you got him that responded, right? So we got all that going on in the underground. Nick Cannon, uh, Eminem, Charlie Clips, Hitman Holla, Conceited, and, and, and Prince something, you know what I mean? And and they're coming at, and it's getting sticky out here. I mean, Eminem has even took the Twitter to say as much as, let's go look it up right now. Let's pull it up. Eminem has even went to Twitter and said, I demand apology from you, Nicholas. Or I demand an apology, Nicholas. You made my gardener so jealous. Talking about that line. The little, you know what I mean? The little, uh, caught somebody, or, you know, somebody sucking a dick line and shit. You mad, bro? Stop lying on my dick. I never had a chauffeur. You bougie fuck. <laughs> That's funny, man. That's crazy. And I promise you today. Okay, so yeah. That's what he put. You know what I mean? And, 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 and <laughs> I'm gonna keep it a buck, man. This shit's getting sticky out here, man. So, uh. What do you guys think about the situation? I'm going to tell you what I think about it. I think that Nick Cannon is kind of clout chasing. But in reality, Eminem, I got to go back and say that Eminem did mention him on the Fat Joe shit. <clears throat> but Nick Cannon could have responded by himself. But instead, he responded with four or five dudes. You know, they're all talking crazy shit and, and, and all that. So it's like, what's really, really going on out here? You know what I mean? Like, what, what's going on? Are we about to see a battle? Are we about to witness... Are we about to witness these things that are going on? Are we about to witness a battle within the underground of artists? Because they're it, you know, Hitman Holler, Charlie Clips, Conceited, they have bars. They're battle rappers. They should have bars, right? But why are they fighting their battles? You know what I'm saying? Or uh, Nick Cannon's battle. It's Nick Cannon that he talked about. He didn't say nothing about any of them. So you're like, yo, I got to take up for my boy, blah, 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 blah. And that's some pussy shit to me. The bars were there. Y'all had bars, and you could spar with Eminem, and Eminem will still body y'all. And I put any, you know, what I mean, I I put that on anything. But anyways, like, I feel like the situation is crazy. You know, we get into the high talk, man. We hit the blunt, we get high, we talk about the shit around here. That's what high talks for. If y'all have, you know, any questions on for the next episode, I'll be asking some fans some questions, some things that they want to know, and I'll be answering it live on here with you guys, so you guys can tune into that. Uh, man, shout out to the whole entire rep gang for showing love, man. I appreciate you guys are, are appreciative every day. You know what I mean? You're in the Discord. You're lighting it up. So if any of y'all want to be part of the Discord, let me know. But first and foremost, let's get back on subject here about this beef. Like 50 Cent took to the internet. And, and hold on. Let's go. Let's go actually look what 50 Cent said real quick. You know what I'm saying? Let's let's take to what 50 Cent read, so, or uh, said about Nick Cannon. Cause there And there's some videos too. So 50 Cent... Right here, the kid 50 cent. I don't understand to save my life why someone would pick a fight with him. He is a different kind of animal. <clears throat> I haven't seen a motherfucker come close to beating him, man. Hey, Nick, that shit was trash. I ought to kick your, I ought to kick you in your ass when I see you, punk. Damn. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Bizarre. Bizarre from D12. He was on Hitman Holla's Instagram earlier. He was like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? We about that action. What's up? You know, he's because Hitman Holla posted, I'll ride out for my homie and blah, blah, blah. And, and, and Bizarre put, yeah, so will I. What's up? Like, you know what I mean? So the internet's getting sticky right now, man. The internet's getting real sticky. And shit's getting picked up right now. It, it I, I can't wait to see what goes on. I'll be reacting to it all. 
If Nick Cannon and them put out another diss track, I'm not reacting to it. They already did too. That's that. Let the man respond if he's going to respond. You know what I mean? He did respond on Twitter. So I, I think that, you know what I mean? Like, it's a very good chance that Eminem will respond. Or he might just let his boys eat. You know what I'm saying? He let his boys shine on this one. I think he might let his boy shine. My prediction will be he might let his boy shine or he might take them all out by himself and then let his boy shine on the next one. You know what I'm saying? So this is what I think. My prediction is going to be that, you know, I got Eminem responding. You know what I mean? I got Eminem responding. And he's either going to come solo on this one and wait for a round two. But I don't... Honestly, let me go back on that opinion. Actually, I think Eminem will come with just one round and that'll be it. Because it's going to be like a kill shot type of thing. It's going to get views. It's going to be like number one on the fucking charts, on the hip-hop charts for a minute. And that's just the way Eminem rolls, man. Like, you mentioned Eminem. They brought out some bars, you know, about Haley and Ja Rule and this and that on the second one. And it, and it was enough to respond. In my opinion, it was enough to respond. I respond to it. Everybody, the momentum's riding with you. And we already know you have what it takes, Eminem. You know what I'm saying? But let's get on it, man. Let's get on it. Like, what? Like... <laughs> I, I'm just curious, man. All this, all this thunder going on in the underground, everything going down, man. I'm, I want to see the smoke. I want to see hip hop be brought back to its roots, where people, you know, you call this dude out, he comes back, he answers you, he smashes you. Guess what? Then the world says you lost. And guess what? You're taking that L like a man. You might end up like Ja Rule being Shaq's tool it. That's tough. You know what I'm saying? That's that's tough. That's that's just how it works, man. Hey, I love this shit. I love it. I love the beefy shit. You know what I'm saying? I love I love checking it out. I love doing reviews on it. I love getting on here making videos about it. And that's what I figured I'd make this episode one of Rev Gang High Talk with T Rev episode one, man. So, damn, I'm so fucking high right now. I'm rambling. I'm talking about the dumbest shit in the world. Let's get back to the facts here. Bazaar was on Hitman Holler shit. He said he'd ride out. You know what I mean? You got conceited of them talking shit all over. You got motherfucking Charlie Clips on there talking on his Instagram. You know what I mean? Talking sticky. And it's like, he was like, this is battle rap shit. Hold on. Let's pull it up right now, matter of fact. I'll read it out loud. Let's let's go ahead and get to this. Let's check it out. Charlie Clips. Let's go to Charlie Clips. Charlie Clips posted a screenshot of Marshall Mathers and Nick Cannon going back and forth. You mad, bro? Stop lying on my dick. Blah, blah, blah. We already read that. This was Nick Cannon's response to what Eminem said. Fuck apologies. Pull up. Bring your gardener, chauffeur, your male nurse, and whoever else you're fucking. Eminem. Good morning, Marsha. We're still, we're still waiting. And he posted out of this. He said, look at these two having fun, laughing while everybody else is mad. Eminem is a battle rapper before anything. This is what Clips said. This shit... This the shit he loved. That little that little jab we threw at him was just to get him to respond or come to the show wild and out. So far he responded on Twitter. Now let's see if he get in the booth or come to the show. So Nick can show M he really know how to rap by himself. Come on, bro. You sucking dick. You know Nick Cannon's trash. That's my opinion on that, Charlie. You're better than that, bro. You know Nick ain't really got bars like that, bro. And you probably wrote the bars of that shit on the disc. You know what I mean? <clears throat> I'm officially high as fuck. So we, we really into that high talk, but I'm just saying, man. I think M's gonna come back and he might do it by himself to prove that he take out all of y'all. Or he might let his people eat. And I'm 50 50 on that line right now. Honestly, I don't know if he's gonna let the men's eat or he's gonna come and kill y'all all off. You know what I'm saying? So. I can't wait to see what happens. And I could be wrong. You know what I mean? Eminem might not even respond to none of this shit and just be chilling about to drop an album. Or he's going to respond. Either way, I'm curious to see what happens, man. Join the conversation. Let me know down in the comments below. Let's start up. What are we doing for episode two of this? What are we talking about? We're going to talk about what's hot out there right now? Are we going to talk about, you know... Up and coming events for people. Like, let me know down here. It's high talk with T Rev. We talk about anything over here, man. I got some projects coming out. A single that just dropped. Always revved up featuring Emily or Emily Elkins, my baby. Y'all already know what's up. It's wifey. Uh, got that dropping. 
Actually, that already dropped. It's gonna be in the comments and the description. The comments, blah blah blah. I can't even talk straight. I'm so fucking high. Got that dropping. Actually, that already dropped. It's gonna be in the comments and the description. The comments, blah blah blah. I can't even talk straight. I'm so fucking high. It'll be in the description below. Make sure you check that out. Make sure you tune in. Check it out. It's on Spotify, Amazon, iTunes, all the you know Pandora, all that. So make sure y'all go check that out ASAP. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you check that out ASAP. We high in this bitch. It's Rev Gang. Hip hop. We live and breathe that shit. This is just episode one high talks. A small little video to see, you know, who's clicking in, who's checking in, who's rocking with me. I'm sorry, guys. I'm high as draft pussy right now. And I can't even hold my fucking eyes open. I probably look like a fucking goddamn uh, China man in Chinatown right now. Baby, why? You know what I'm saying? All right now, baby, why? You know what I'm saying? But let's go, man. This, this is cool. I'm happy to do these things and be able to talk and reach with you guys and just bullshit. And y'all can see how I act on the daily ba- or on the daily basis. Basis, boop, 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 boop. I can't even talk straight. Let's basis, basis, boop, 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 boop. I can't even talk straight. Listen to me, bro. God damn, why are you, so- bro? What the fuck am I smoking, bro? What is this shit? What is this shit? God damn. What is this shit? God damn. Some fucking Martian Ex- What the fuck is Martian Express? OG. I don't know what this is, man, but this shit got me fucking lifted right now, bro. Straight fucking gassed out. Man, I love you guys, man. Make sure y'all tune back in. Show love. Let me know what y'all are looking forward to. Drop down in the comments what you want to see content-wise from me. We're going to do these high talks more, and we're going to get them more situated, but... I just wanted to talk about this on the first episode, talk about these diss tracks, talk about what's going on out there right now, and this is the hottest thing out as far as hip-hop, people talking shit back and forth, and big scenes being made, and people talking about it all over the place, so I want to see that. Anyways, if y'all enjoyed this video, hit the like button, drop a comment, let let me know you're rocking with me, you know what I mean? Let me know if you're new to the channel, man, welcome to Rap Gang. If you want to get in the Discord, get up with one of my mods, they'll be on here, um, I got, uh, my baby Emily's, you know, one of them. I got Audrey. I got Under Oath, Country Girl. You know, I got all my people. Pug Mama. Uh, I got my man Snipers. You know, I got, I got some good people by my side and very supportive people by my side that I appreciate, man. I love you guys. Y'all are the best. Y'all, man, are, are real family. You stick by my side. You pick me up. You spread my name out there. And that's what it's all about, man. And without you guys... Hot T-Rev doesn't exist, man. So I want to tell that to you guys. I love you all. I appreciate everybody's support. Uh, I do have a a Rev Gang merch store where you can get a shirt like this. I got a Stick Up Entertainment merch store where you can get shit like this. Um, I got stuff in the description. Check it out. My social medias, my platforms. You know, you want to get, you want to check out my music, or you ain't here for the music. You're here for to to watch me be an idiot and, and and goddamn ramble on like I am right now. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. You know, like you want to follow me and, and check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, whatever. I got all that set up. Come holler at your boy, man. Follow me. Rock out with me. You need advice? You're lonely? You're depressed? Hit me up, homie. If you feel like you're about to kill yourself, hit me up. You know what I'm saying? We all go through this shit. We're a family around here. Let's let's hold each other's head high, man, and keep pushing through each day. Each day's a struggle, but we will make a change. It's your boy. T-Rev, I love you guys. I'm out. This is how I'm gonna ride for my city. I know God's by my side through my music and my energy. I feel it in my soul every time I rip a beat. Never ducking and dodging and running from the wind of me. This is how I'm gonna ride for my city. I know God's by my side.